Hi everybody, Andrew Locke. Welcome to another episode of Gaffer and Gear. I'll quickly run you through the setup I've got here. I've got a small light running off a safety switch and also plugged into that safety switch is a safety switch tester. Now I want you to imagine the following scenario. We've got a light on a stand. Next to the light on a stand is a pool. In the water are actors. Somebody knocks the light over and the light lands in the pool. Now within 30 milliseconds of landing in the pool, the safety switch engages and everybody gets to live. Now here's my question for you. Would the safety switch have worked if the light was plugged into a dimmer? Okay, so now I've put a dimmer in between our safety switch and our light. So let's uh, turn the dimmer down, press the test button on the safety switch tester and see at which point our safety switch engages. So that's 20%, 30%, 40%, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80% before the safety switch tripped in. So I'll get into explaining why that happened later in the video, because if I start getting technical now, people are going to switch off before I finish my message. Okay, so at what point would this be lethal if this fell into the pool? At what point on the dimmer would it be lethal? Well, it depends on which country you live in. So for example, if you live in a country where it's 110 volts, it'll be higher on the dimmer. If you live in a country like Australia, where we're 230 volts plus or minus, then uh, it can become dangerous at a very lower point. So what is uh, a dangerous voltage? Well, what's considered dangerous in AC is anything above 50 volts, particularly if you're wet or your skin's moist. Anything above 50 volts AC is considered life-threatening. So now I've got a multimeter plugged in so that we can have a look at the voltage. Okay, now bear in mind, I live in Australia, which is a 230 plus or minus voltage country. The results will be different depending on what country you live in. So now let's uh, turn the uh, dimmer up and see at which point we get to 50 volts, which could be potentially life-threatening. So let's have a look. So we're going up 10%, 15%. So we're getting there. We're at 30, 41 volts, 43 volts, 48, 50. Okay, so we're at, we're at pretty much smack on 20% on the dimmer. So above 20%, that can be life-threatening. So let's have a look now, uh, press the, uh, the uh, tester switch. Let's have a look at what voltage we get to before it trips. 76, we're at 80, 90, okay, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. 160, 170, 180, 185, 190, 200 volts, 210 volts. So why doesn't a safety switch work with a dimmer? Well, it's a combination of how the safety switch works and a combination of how the dimmer works. So basically how a safety switch works, it monitors the amount of uh, current going out through your active, monitors the amount of current coming back through the neutral, and if the two don't line up, it shuts the power off. Another way to explain it is you've got power going out to your set, that power comes back to your socket. If the two don't match up, the amount of power going out doesn't equal the amount of power coming back. The safety switch knows that power is going somewhere where it shouldn't, and it turns the power off. So here's the problem with the dimmer. The dimmer works by decreasing your voltage. Now, unfortunately, when you decrease your voltage, you change the amperage, which is what this thing is measuring. So basically, the dimmer stuffs up the mathematics that the safety switch is doing. Before we go, I just want to clarify something. I am not saying that it is dangerous to use dimmers. I'm not saying that at all. I use dimmers all the time. I have lots of dimmers. I've never had an electrical safety issue with the use of a dimmer. What I am saying in this video is that if you are going to use dimmers, you must be certain that everything you plug into the dimmer is electrically safe, which is something that you should be doing anyway. Because if it's not electrically safe, you can't depend on the safety switch to save your life because it won't function. Now, the reason I'm doing these videos is far too many people on set have a blasé approach to electricity. 
I've met a, a lot of people in the lighting department now who are more concerned about their persona on set than they are concerned about being electrocuted and dying. Basically, at the end of the day, we all just want to get home safe. So let's make sure we keep the set safe and we all go home alive. I'm Andrew Locke. Take care. See you on set.